Hi Simon, so in this video I'm, I'm reviewing your online presence and I'm looking at both your organic search results and the optimization of your web page and website. And the second thing I looked at is the paid advertising that you're already implementing. And I will show you in the second part of the video how to improve your paid advertising. It's also important to note that I haven't gone into a super amount of depth in terms of the keywords you should be targeting, but they will be a byproduct of implementing the changes I recommend for your search engine optimization and the amount of pages that you should have on your website and the type of pages that you should be targeting in terms of services and locations. And you'll see this in the video. After you've watched the video and we have a chat again, we can discuss further those more technical aspects of your website's presence in Google search results. So here it is. I won't talk much further about what's going to happen. I'll just show you now. All right, Simon, here it is. So for the next point, I want to comment on the amount of pages you have on your website and the type of keywords that you're targeting. And also I can see that you're paying for advertising and the words or keywords that you're targeting are computer repairs, Mossman, computer repairs, Ramwick, computer repairs, Bank Sound, and so on. Now, on your website, you only actually have one page. So that is basically innerwestit.net.au. So the keywords that you have ranked for on this page are so basically this is your home page and that's really the main keyword that you've uh, got yourself ranking for or Google is aware about your business so what the first thing I would recommend is with your website is to break up the services into the each individual services so you've got different services here hardware upgrades data recovery uh, modem A to cell wireless installation software installation training and virus and spyware removal and then on top of this, because you're actually targeting these different service areas, I would then create additional pages on your website. So you would target, for example, uh, Computer Repair Mossman. And then we would have a page on that. And to show you a clear example, so you understand what I'm talking about, I'll show you an example from Redfern and what electricians do. So using uh, Electrician Redfern as an example, we've got a location there and also a service. So in the second result here, I'll go down to Mr. Switch and you can see the page title is Emergency Electrician Redfern, which is here as well. And that's the keyword that Google will look for for this page. All these are the, the target keywords for your page. So as you can see again, Emergency Electrician Redfern here. Now if we click on their web page and go through, we'll see this page has been optimized for Emergency Electrician Redfern. And throughout the page it's a 24 hour 7 electrician and it's got Redfern here. And then again, they've got location pages. So they've got all the different suburbs that they service. Now this is something that you could easily do with your web page. And uh, it wouldn't take a super amount of effort. And what that means is that you potentially can rank for those keywords in those specific areas. Now, this company here, there's no way they actually have an office in all these different locations. They've just simply optimized their website so they can be found in Google for these services in these different service areas. Now, what I will do with your website is actually have a locations tab here and then do something similar to what they've done. We're having, having uh, targeted pages for different areas that you want to service. Now the thing is you're already actually paying for this in your targeted keywords here. So if I look at the full report, I can see that you are targeting uh, about, is it seven or eight, maybe nine different suburbs? Actually, maybe five suburbs, but you've targeted different keywords for each. So it would be really handy for you if you could start ranking organically for these keywords. And the way you would do that is have your website optimized for location. Now it's generally accepted that you need say 15 pages or more on your website for Google to start to really consider it to be an important website for your niche. Now as I've mentioned, uh, you should add a lot of different locations you want to service as individual pages. You should also do the same as mentioned earlier with your services pages. And then from there we can start targeting specific keywords like hardware upgrades in Redfern or data recovery and backups in all those different locations, uh, training and advice, then you can actually talk about what different types of training and advice you do. 
So instead of just going back to your website in the search results, instead of just ranking for one specific keyword, you could actually start ranking for many more keywords. So the next thing I want to talk about is your paid advertising and a few ways that you could easily improve it and improve the conversion rate of your ads. So for example, if you have five people visiting your page and each ad is costing you, say for example, $10 per click for Computer Repair Bankstown, and only one person out of five actually gets in contact with you, that means it costs you $50 almost for that one lead. Now, if the people who contact you or the conversion rate is higher, then it's gonna lower your cost of advertising and it's gonna make you more competitive. So the way to do that generally is to have a specific landing page for each particular keyword you're targeting. So at the moment, you're targeting these nine keyword or keyword phrases and they all link back to this same ad. Now that's great, you've got people coming to your page, but the way to optimize or the conversion rate of your page is to have a specific landing page for each ad, as I mentioned. Now I like to use examples to show you what I'm talking about, so here's an example from one of your competitors. So here I've used Computer Repair Sydney as an example, and the ad at the top here is Computer Repair in Enmore, and this is a paid ad. Now the first thing you'll notice is I've actually put Enmore in the computer repair ad. So I'm actually close to Enmore, so that's the reason it's come up. Now the thing is, if I click on this ad, it will take me to a specific page that gets me to take action. So either call this number for a free quote, or actually fill in the details here, and it's got the address and more here. So basically, it's got a call to action, which is leave your email and details and phone number and we'll call you back or make a call through straight away. Now, if I go to safemode.com.au, their homepage, you can see that it's completely different. And the reason it's completely different is because this is their general page if they give it to one of their clients or a business card or something. But in their paid advertising, they have a very clear call to action and a very clear path that they want the visitors to take. And what this does, this increases the conversion rate of your landing pages, which lowers the cost of your advertising. So just to summarize everything I've talked about, what you need to do is first, have individual pages for each of your services. Secondly, you need to add a locations tab and then start optimizing your website for all the different locations that you wanna target in your paid advertising. The second thing is to improve the quality of your paid advertising and create independent or unique landing pages for each of the keyword phrases that you're targeting. And the third thing is that if you're already spending money on advertising, in the long run, it's actually much cheaper to optimize your website and start targeting the Google rankings to promote your business and to generate new leads. Now, I think the statistic on it is something like five to one. So for every dollar you invest in SEO, will give a five-fold return compared to the same dollar invested in paid advertising. So I hope you found that helpful. I think that um, you have a lot of opportunities in your business and I had a look at your competition and how they are ranking for specific, specific areas, so targeting locations. And I definitely think that it's possible for you to have some positive results in rankings and, and get into the first page for quite a few of those different locations. But what you really need to do is uh, restructure your website using, or in the ways that I indicated earlier, again, your services pages and your location pages pages, and this will allow you to target many more keywords that people are searching for. And a large part of that is people searching for computer repair, repair plus location, so computer repair Redfern, computer repair Bankstown, all these pages you could optimize your website for. All right, thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you soon.